Technology windows, for, for many of us, we see technology windows, refresh cycles are shortening. If you're a chief financial officer, you're struggling with the substantial CapEx investments that, that could be made obsolete in as little as five years, perhaps three years. Modern growing businesses benefit from an OPEX model to deliver IT services. Businesses and government are now seven by 24 by 365 days a year. And customers have exceptionally low tolerance for service interruptions. For many applications and for critical content, the concept of a server room, a uh, server closet even, is becoming unacceptable and obsolete. Attend an event, and hopefully we've got some folks from the financial and banking sector here tonight, but if you attend an event for that vertical, for that sector, I'll challenge you to tally the word that is mentioned more often than the word security. Even money, even interest rates are not mentioned as often as that critical word security. The threats for that sector, for all sectors, are everywhere. Some of those threats are man-made, others are beyond man's control, and in turn, business and government leaders must have in place developed plans to protect sensitive data and applications. Uh, we want to ask effective questions and genuinely listen so you feel understood and valued. It's not to make the sale, it's not about a sales pitch, but it's truly understanding. If we can help your customers be successful, you will be successful, we will be successful. As I said, moving away from the sales pitch, moving away from that business development, I gotta make my numbers. By the way, the sales team, you still have to make your numbers. Uh, we need to start having results-driven conversations with our customers. Enabling effective decision-making and execution strategies. Okay, a lot of big words. It comes back to being a trusted advisor. We want to participate in your strategic planning. We want to participate in your 18-month development cycle, your three-year development cycle. Participate in the sense of providing industry experts and industry knowledge not again necessary to sell you anything and i have to put this one in i just wrote it in um, gracefully exiting while preserving the relationship when a solution can't be reached the fact is that we're not going to change run every piece of business now we've we've walked away from a large deal today but it was just not viable for us to take the business because we could not deliver what the customer's expectations were at the price the customer wanted it. We would fail at it, and our intention is not to fail. After we've not failed today, and we will not fail. The training course workshop with Franklin Covey, um, they do that executive training, strategic planning stuff, and uh, it was called Helping Clients Succeed. And it was the one thing that stuck with me, and I would say has brought the success there to all the organizations that I've worked for. Um, it was a combination of critical communication skills, disciplined business thinking, and the fierce execution of methods. You know, time is money, and it was to enable salespersons to talk honestly. We want to explore the real issues with our customers and collaborate to craft solutions. Our intention and goal is to meet your needs, meet our clients' needs. Since taking the helm, I've tried to implement some of those, this one of the elements of the workshop, some of the learnings that I took away um, through creating a framework and what I term, and it's been written now and I, I don't get credit for it, the art of sales and the, and the science of sales. I think the, implement, the integration of both of them truly brings a sort of value that professionalism can embody onto our clients. Our mission statement is don't predict the future, enable it. Our mandate is to provide quality solutions and entertainment needs to any business while also reducing productivity costs, helping businesses to sustain, to sustain revenue and lowering operating expenses. By extension, we will also focus our efforts towards contributing towards the local economy.